mountains, evergreen trees, beautiful trails and delicious and surprising food. This is all what we have discovered on our trip to Schwarzwald. Today we are continuing our holiday edit with another two videos from south of Germany in which we're going to show you 24 specialities of the cuisine of Baden. And this video is going to contain 12 of them. So now without further ado, let's just start. I'm going to start this video with a delicious soup that it's called Flatle Suppe. This is a clear beef broth that is served with a German pancake that is rolled up and then sliced into coils. Some variations of Flatle also contained pieces of meat and the soup is also very well known and beloved in the neighborhood Swabia. Mag Klüsschen Suppe is another similar starter and it contains a clear beef broth that is served with dumplings that are made from wheat bread, bone marrow, egg and flour. Those are seasoned with salt, pepper, nutmeg and parsley. At the end they are cooked in water or beef broth. In Germany there are so many delicious soup dumplings that I would recommend you to try on your trip to Germany. Another very interesting dish to try in Schwarzwald is called Badische Salzkutteln and this is tripe that is cleaned, boiled and bleached beef stomach. The tripe is served with a white wine sauce and Bregele, so the pan fried potatoes. That has been the second tripe dish that I have tried in my life and this one was surprisingly good. I would even say the best tripe dish that I had. Tripe has very interesting texture and taste and if you are brave enough to try it I would recommend that to you. The white wine sauce in this dish makes it exceptional. And at this point could you please let me know in the comments down below if there are any other dishes that you know that contain tripe? I'm very curious. In Freiburg they have every day except Sundays a market where you could eat another speciality from Baden which is called Lange Rote and it's a sausage without the skin. On this market we have seen five vendors selling the sausage but there should be apparently seven. The fun fact is that the vendors move because the first stand uh, from the north always sells the most sausages. The sausage was invented in 1949 by baker Josef Fernbach and it's 35 centimeters long. In Germany we would usually bend long sausages in half but the locals eat their sausage as a whole even when that way the possibility is high to mess up your shirt with mustard. If you buy a sausage you're gonna be asked if you would like to have your sausage with or without fried onions. And they've got also longer and shorter bread rolls. Next time I would definitely order it with a short one. Also on the market we have discovered a great food souvenirs. For example chopping board with a knife as well as Schwarzwälder Schinken and Landjäger. On the market we also bought ourselves a few specialities for the Brotzeit. The first one was Schwarzwälder Schinken which is black forest ham and that's not any ham. It's actually this particular one that is cured and dried and smoked. The recipe was invented by Hans Adler in 1959 and in Europe the ham must be partly manufactured within Black Forest region. Very important part of the Brotzeit in Schwarzwald is Vesper Speck, uh, which is a bacon that is produced the same way as the Black Forest ham. To eat it you usually cut it in a small pieces that are called Stifte and you don't eat the bottom part. The local used this bacon also when cooking to add special flavor to the meal. And there is no Brotzeit in Schwarzwald without Landjäger, which is a raw sausage that is made from pork belly and beef with 20% fat. The sausage is seasoned with salt, white pepper and caraway seeds and then is pressed into this form where it stays for one and two days. 
then it's dried for two days and smoked for 24 hours. The sausage does not need to be refrigerated and therefore it's perfect to eat during activities like hiking. If you would like to know more about the German Brotzeit, there is a whole video about it, which I'm gonna link in the description box down below and in the top right corner. For our Brotzeit, we have chosen Brezel, so a pretzel, but uh, you can also have it with a, a rye uh, white wheat bread. In Germany, we are still not sure where the pretzels are from, they could be Bavarian, they could be Swabian, and they could be from Alsace. In Germany, the most common are the Bavarian and the Swabian ones. The Swabian ones are a bit thinner at the ends, and the Bavarian ones are evenly thick. We like eating our pretzel with butter, and that has also a name, and it's called Butterbrezel. And this is the one and only Badisches Dreierlei that contains three different dishes, so Bregele, pan-fried potatoes, Bibles case and sausage salad. In this meal only the potatoes are served warm, the cheese and the salad are cold. Bibles case is a specialty of Baden, it is a white cheese that is mixed with onions and sometimes garlic and chives, seasoned with salt and pepper. There was also a sausage salad from Baden that contained Leona, so the Bologna sausage, onions, pickled cucumber and dressing. The dressing usually contains mustard, white wine, vinegar and oil and also sometimes sugar. That, that was a perfect summer dish and I actually loved it. If you like sausage salad, I will put the link to my favorite recipe in the description box down below and in the top right corner. Matthias went for Käse Spätzle and those were completely different to those that we know. I have mentioned Spätzle a few times in our videos and I don't want to repeat myself, um, but if you don't know what Spätzle are, those are a soft uh, German egg noodles that can be served as a main meal or a side dish to various dishes. Some of Badische Käse Spätzle contained bacon and were served with a fried onions on the top. They were very cheesy, but not as creamy as the ones from Allgäu. And the last dish that I would like to show you are the Apfelringe, so the German fried apple rings. And this is traditional German dessert and in the past uh, they have been eaten also as a main meal. The dish consists of sliced apples that are dipped in butter and then fried. The butter is made from flour, egg, milk and sugar. And the apple rings, after being fried, are served with additional sugar, cinnamon on the top and also whipped cream as well as vanilla ice cream on the side, as you can see. Some people also like serving them with a cold vanilla sauce. This is not only a speciality from Baden-Württemberg, but also from Franconia, and I've shown you those ones already in my Franconian video. We have eaten those apple rings in the city center of Freiburg, and I'm gonna put the name of the restaurant in the description box down below, because we could find there a lot of traditional dishes, and we were very happy with the quality of the food, and those apple rings were one of the best ones we have ever had. Such a shame that we didn't have a space for another portion. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. In the next one, we will be showing you another 12 specialties from Schwarzwald. If you are interested in the cuisine of Southern Germany, you can also go ahead and watch our videos from Allgäu and Bestesgaden. And please don't forget to let me know in the comments down below if there are any dishes that you know of containing tripe.